The K factor is a number that represents the amount of pulses which relates to the quantity of a material that passes the flow meter. It is also expressed as number of pulses per unit of measure. The automatic unit conversion is a feature that simplifies your setup. It avoids having to enter two different K factors for the total and flow rate. Choose the automatic unit conversion when you want both the flow rate and total to be displayed in mass flow measuring units. The K factor setting should be configured before installation to ensure correct measurements in any situation. In this tutorial, we will set the K factor for mass flow measurement with automatic conversion and configure the settings to display the mass total and flow rate. Before we set up the K factor, we need to identify this number as provided by the flow meter manufacturer. In this example, that is 6,784.455, and the measurement unit is kilograms. Now we can set up the K factor on the E series. Hold the program button for seven seconds. Menu 1, Total, appears. You can use the Clear and Select buttons to navigate through the menu. Press Clear to go to Menu 4, Flow Meter. In this menu, we are going to configure the signal of the flow meter with the E-Series. Use Select to go to Menu 4.2, Units. The Units menu is used to select the different unit conversion modes. Press PROG to change this setting. We are going to select the Auto Mode Mass as our flow meter is calibrated for kilograms. Press PROG to store this setting. Use SELECT to go to Menu 4.3 Unit. In this menu, you can select the measuring unit which your flow meter is calibrated for. Press PROG to change this setting. As our flow meter is calibrated for kilograms, we select the kilogram value. Press PROG to store this setting. If you cannot select the required measuring unit, you cannot use the automatic unit conversion. Best practice is to select hand mode instead. Use SELECT to go to Menu 4.4 K Factor. Press PROG to set the K Factor. In this tutorial, we are going to set the K Factor to 6784455. The amount of decimals is not set yet. Press PROG to store this setting. The next step is to set the decimals for the K factor. Press SELECT to go to Menu 4.5 K Factor Decimals. Press PROG to change this setting. In this example, our K factor has three decimals, so we have to set the K factor decimals to 0.003. Press PROG to store this setting. Press CLEAR to go back to Menu 4.4 K Factor. You will see that the decimal point has been set and the K Factor is now 6784.455. The K Factor is now correctly configured. Next, we are going to set the displayed total. This setting does not influence the K Factor and measuring unit as set from the flow meter calibration certificate. Use clear or select to navigate to menu 1 total. In this menu, you can set the display settings for total. Press select to go to menu 1.1 unit. Press prog to change this setting. In this tutorial, we are going to set the displayed total to tons. Press PROG to store this setting. The flow meter unit kilogram is now automatically converted to show the total in tons.
The next step is to set the total decimal point position. Use SELECT to go to MENU 1.2 DECIMALS. You will see that the TON indication is shown. We are going to set the decimals to one decimal. Press PROG to change this setting. We select the 0.1 value. Press PROG to store this setting. The decimals for the total are now set to one decimal. Go to MENU 1.5 Multiplication Factor. Menus 1.3 K-Factor and 1.4 K-Factor decimals are not configurable as we have set the K-Factor to Auto Mode Mass. In this tutorial, we want to add a multiplication factor because the seven shown digits are not sufficient enough for our application. Press PROG to change this setting. In this example, we want to add a multiplication factor of 10 so we select the 10 value. Press PROG to store this setting. Next, we are going to set the displayed flow rate. Use CLEAR to navigate to MENU 2 FLOW RATE. In this menu, you can set the display settings for the flow rate. Press SELECT to go to MENU 2.1 UNIT. Press PROG to change this setting. We select TON and press PROG to store this setting. The displayed measuring unit for flow rate is now set to TON. The flow meter unit kilograms is automatically converted to show the flow rate in TON. Go to MENU 2.2 TIME. In this menu, you can change the time base unit for the displayed flow rate. Press PROG to change this setting. We are going to select the seconds value. Press PROG to store this setting. The time base unit for flow rate is now set for seconds. The next step is to set the decimals for the displayed flow rate. Go to MENU 2.3 DECIMALS. Press PROG to change this setting. We select the 0.1 value. Press PROG to store this setting. The decimals for the displayed flow rate are now set to one decimal. Next, we are going to set the flow rate calculation factor. Press SELECT to go to MENU 2.6 CALCULATE. The flow rate is calculated by measuring the time between a number of pulses. The more pulses, the more accurate the flow rate will be, but also the response time will decrease. Press PROG to change this setting. We are going to select 10 pulses. Press PROG to store this setting. We have now set the flow rate calculation to 10 pulses per measuring unit. The last step is to set the cutoff time. Press SELECT to go to MENU 2.7 CUTOFF. When during the cutoff time no pulses are received, the E-Series will show a zero flow. This prevents the E-Series to continuously show the last calculated flow rate if there isn't any flow detected. Press PROG to change this setting. We select the 15.0 value. Press PROG to store this setting. The cutoff time is set to 15 seconds. Hold PROG for 3 seconds to exit the setup menu and return to run mode. You can see the configured settings in the main display. You have now configured the K factor with automatic unit conversion on the E series. For an easy automatic unit conversion, you've got to have a fluid well.